and I can edit out the okay. front. All right. Yes. Hi, I'm John Hutchings. This is Healthy Edge Media. We are at Arundaquite High School, and uh, we're at, it's over, the NGA Natural American Championships. I'm joined by Maria. Maria, what's your last name? Mello. Maria Mello uh, competed today. You've got an inspiring story. Uh, I know. <laughs> I was inspired by it. I met you backstage. We talked about yeah. it. Um, you are a professional bodybuilder in Canada. Mm -hmm. um, and you would uh, won your pro card, and then you had a diagnosis, right? You had uh, a bout with cancer. Yeah, I was diagnosed with uh, breast cancer January of 2013. Okay. Um, I had to have a homocectomy and plus a, a bunch of my lymph nodes removed from my left side. And uh, I had to go through six rounds of chemo and 25 rounds of radiation, which took me uh, a full year from January to the end of October. Uh, getting treatment, um, then I was, you know, recovering, but during that period, I was uh, still going to the gym. You know, uh, you told me that, <laughs> and, uh, you know, I think a lot of people who don't work out as ardent, ardently as uh, we do, mm -hmm. wouldn't understand it. They yeah. th would think maybe that's a, a, some sort of a obsession and you should try to rest a little bit, but you explained, and I understand fully, yeah. it was your peace of mind. It was your sanity through that yes. arduous time. Yes, it was uh, the only thing It was the only thing that kept me going because I felt that if I was at the gym, then the, the disease wasn't that bad because I could still physically get up, go to the gym, and do something. Um, I was around a lot of people who, you know, a lot of them had to be wheeled in to get their chemo in the beds to get their chemo. Some of them, you know, were very weak and, and, you know, would be in bed for days, like they would say, would be in bed for days. And I felt that if I could make it to the gym, you know, no matter what, I wasn't that bad. That I was going to fight, I was going to win this battle, and nothing could keep me down because I was still going to the gym, so I couldn't be that bad. So that is what kept me going, is going to the gym every day to make sure that mentally it was getting strong. That's awesome. And win it, you did win. Yeah. I mean, you're here on stage as a, a testament to your uh, resiliency, mm -hmm. you know, and undoubtedly, I'm sure your doctors maybe told you along the way that it was your great physical conditioning that helped you yeah. fight this so, you know, um, vict you were victorious over it. Um, is this your first show back, or have you been doing a, a few shows along the way? I, this would actually be my third show so far. Okay. Um, it was supposed to be my first show when Joe uh, had, was had this earlier, but he had to cancel that one and book it for this time. Okay. But uh, I've done a couple of extra shows up in Canada. Um, this is my first one down here with uh, NGA, and I had a great time. Yeah, yeah, it looked like you had a great I time. I had a fabulous Isn't time. that part of this, this sport, though? I mean, there's so much work that goes into yeah. it, and then getting up on stage and displaying all the work. But the, the friendships, uh, Tom's videotaping us right now. I mean, you guys, I tried to introduce you, but you guys know each other. You're longtime pals. Yes. It's a small community, it's a very small and those bonds are very strong and very special. Yes. Talk about that a little bit. Well, the bonds are very special because we all know what people have had to go through. Uh, when you're in this and you've been through this, we all know, you know, how hard it is and the struggles and the, the eating and the, the, the dieting and the, the exercise and the hours you have to spend posing and learning to pose and your routines and all of that. And we, we all know what we all go through. The outside world just sees us on stage, you know, with the package all put together. They don't know how bad it took us six months to get there. They think, wow, you guys look great. You always look like this. No, we don't always look like that. It took us a long time. So we know how hard it is. So yeah. we, you know, we can always congratulate each other and know that, you know, you did a great job and, and you know, you so deserve that. Even if you, I come in third and you come in first and you beat me, I know you worked really hard to get that and, you know, I, you don't take it away from anybody who beats you at all. You're a great competitor. Yeah, thank you. And, you know, it's, it's amazing to me. I've gotten to know Joe a little bit, but mm -hmm. it's just, I, I continue to be, you know, just kind of awestruck by the network that he's built mm -hmm. throughout the the country, yes. uh, the globe, really. Yeah. Canada is a yeah. whole other country. Um, you know, what is it about Joe and his shows? I mean, he's coming up on his 20th anniversary mm -hmm. of promoting in April with his yeah. spring show. What is it about Joe that uh, attracts you to his shows? Well, because it's 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 almost like a family. You know, everybody. You know, Joe. You know, comes and you know, it's it's 
it, there's no ego, and everything's relaxed backstage, and, and he, you know, he's, he's so, good for the athlete, you know, things get, you know, messed up, but he will do whatever he can to make sure everything, every, every athlete's doing well, and just confusion, like even I came in, and I was supposed to be in another category, but he's, I changed my mind, and he said, oh, no problem, he was very accommodating, and it's just great in that way, that, you know, it doesn't, he just, you know, is always there for the athlete, you know, even though it made it confuse everybody, he, he, he had no issue with saying, no, Maria, if you want that category, I'll put you in that category instead of the one you registered for. And he was so accommodating in that. And he's and that's just the way he is. He's just a great overall guy for doing things like that. Yeah, it's easy to see why he's built such yeah. a strong network. Yeah. Well, thanks for stopping and, Thank and joining us. I, I almost missed you. <laughs> we took down, but uh, I'm glad we caught this because, I mean, this is what, to me, natural bodybuilding is about. It's about overcoming adversity. Whatever your circumstances are, just kind of keeping your eyes on the prize and pushing through and just keep getting to the next show, you know, the next show, the next show. And, uh, you know, you're, you're an inspiration Thank to you. me and hopefully our viewers on Healthy Edge Media. Thank you very much. Thank Congratulations. You. Thank Great you. Great meeting you. Thank Good you. meeting you. All right. We got it. Got it. Thank